Let's take a look at a powerful feature called bone displacement. What we're going to do is we're going to displace the geometry uh, based on the influence of a bone or a joint in this case. So I've got this um, this elbow joint selected and I've also rotated it on the heading so that it bends come frame 10. Let's go to the properties panel and we can see that we've got bone displacement. I'm just going to zoom in so that we can see what's going to happen here because we want to affect the upper arm. So for bone displacement I'm going to click T for texture editor. Let's just raise that up a little bit and I'm going to use instead of an image map I'm going to use a procedural. Now you can use an image map, procedural, gradient, or a combination of all of those. From turbulence I'm going to change it to veins. I'm going to size it down. It looks like it's um, it's too large, so let's just size that down a little bit. And we can start to see that the geometry is being displaced based on the area of influence of the... Let's just move this out of the way. You can see it's not affecting the uh, the rest of the arm. It's just this area where the the joint is uh, affecting the, the geometry. Okay, so I'm just going to start playing with my settings a little bit. I'm going to lower this. Uh, I'm actually going to lower it a lot more. 008. Um, let's do 0 0.05 for coverage because I want to have small little veins going on. And uh, we'll do uh, 0 0.5. And what I want to do is I want to get it off of that glove. So I'm going to add another layer and I'll make this a gradient layer. And I'm going to set the blending mode from normal to alpha. And let's go ahead and set the input parameter. I'm going to use uh, uh, bulge fall off and I'm going to say 0 and 1 and I'm just going to adjust my keys until I get it off of that glove so I'm just going to lower this down a little bit okay and so I've just got it on this upper arm but I don't have it on the glove and that's that's pretty much what I want to work with if I turn bone x-ray off you can see it there but now what I want so I could be happy with that and just be done but now what I want is when the arm is straight I don't want those veins and when the arm bends I want those veins so what we can do is we can create a simple expression so I'm going to go to the the veins uh, setting here in the texture editor and for layer opacity I'm going to click E for envelope so that we can uh, we can control this with an expression okay so with that there I've got the channel in uh, I've got the channel in the graph editor so I'm gonna go over to let's go ahead and just uh, we can shut this down now and actually I can shut this window down as well and let's go over to the graph editor and see that we're driving it with we want to drive it with the heading channel so I'm going to select the heading channel let's go over to the expressions tab and click new and I'm just going to call this uh, upper arm and we can give it any name we want and for value I'm going to delete this and I'm going to append to expression this channel it saves me from having to type it out uh, and so now all we need to do is apply it to that channel. So I'm going to click the displacement, a layer opacity, and apply. And so we've got uh, an expression tied to that channel. As I go back to zero, um, we see that uh, the arm is there without all that displacement. And then we scrub to 10, and we can see a ton of displacement. Now, it's based on the rotation, which we can see here is wow that's a lot so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the expression a little bit I'm gonna divide it by 10 uh, it's still a little too much for my liking so I'll just divide it by 20 and there we go so let's take a look at uh, what this is gonna look like when we go to frame 0 we can see no displacement and the arm is straight and as the arm bends those that pattern the vein pattern is going to come into play so that's just using an expression to drive the bone displacement. So you don't actually have to go through the uh, process of setting up uh, an expression if you want it to just be there all the time. And again, we didn't have to create a weight map or, or anything to, uh, to limit it to this area. It's based on the uh, area of influence of the bone. So that's just a quick look at uh, one example of using bone displacement in LightWave Layout.